Good morning. It's Friday, August 28th, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, God's Plans, and our scripture is Psalm 105. All this happened so they would follow his decrees and obey his instructions. Doctrine, what you believe about what you value, can be tricky and it runs a wide path through culture, as wide as the different opinions in a church meeting on what color the new carpet in the foyer ought to be. From this one text in Psalms, it's easy to see why some people imagine the doctrine of predestination to mean God moves people around in despotic manner. They have little or no choice about the outcome of their lives. God's plan is final, and that's that. Now, while that's a supra-fatalistic view of God's intervention in human existence, the polar opposite doctrine has God's in a hands-off mode. That was a doctrine quite popular a few generations ago. The picture is of God the Creator, having once made the universe and all it holds, someone like a master clockmaker assembles a grandfather clock, The final move being to gently push the pendulum to get things started, now takes his hands off the masterpiece and lets it run as it will, for good, bad, or indifferent. This is essentially the debate which has been carried on since Job sat in ashes in grief over the misery in his life, while his three friends tried to force their theology on the sufferer. The question hasn't been settled throughout the formation of Jewish understanding nor the last 2,000 years of Christian discipleship. It's a wide space between the fringes of God totally ignoring us as opposed to God holding us so tight that we have no say in the matter. Is it free will or frozen stiff in God's will? Here's what the Apostle Paul's signature verse says on the topic, Romans 8:28. And we know that God causes everything to work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to his purposes for them. For God knew his people in advance, and he chose them to become like his son, so that his son would be the firstborn among many brothers and sisters. And having chosen them, he called them to come to him. And having called them, he gave them right standing with himself, And having given them right standing, he gave them his glory. My theological understanding, after puzzling the jumble of thoughts on this issue the last 50 plus years, is somewhere near the middle of the fringes. It would be hard to keep a straight face and say there's no such thing as free will. There are too many ifs, buts, and perhaps passages in Holy Scripture to deny that human will is autonomous a free agent, so to speak. It would be equally naive, or a downright assault on truth, to declare that our human autonomous will is not influenced and ultimately accountable to God's will. He is, after all, the sovereign God who created us. So, do we have free will? Or are our lives predestined? Well, in a word, yes. Now, before you start planning my execution for taking the fifth and bailing on this little question, I really do mean yes, both are real. We do have free will, and God in his sovereign will has some wonderful plans for our lives that he's going to bring about. And that works the way I heard Dr. Herschel Hobbs describe it as he led us in a small group Bible study in 1979. This is what he said. Predestination works like an election. God and the devil are having a dispute over your soul. The devil casts his vote to destroy every part of who you are. The Lord casts his vote to redeem you and give you eternal life with him in glory. It's one fur, one again. The election's a tie. And the only way to settle it is you get to cast the tie-breaking vote. Not bad theology for a country boy with a Ph.D. For you today, the psalmist said God arranges and does stuff so we'll follow God's commands and will. It's a smart thing to listen to God's plans, to read and study God's scripture. 
In the long run, it'll head off a long list of mistakes and heartaches. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.